Hey guys, it's Cry here. Welcome to Make Sure It's Closed. Now, this is a short horror game um, on Itch.io where basically you're playing as a either a child or a young adult and according to the notes from the uh, game maker, um, this short game is about something that used to scare him or her as a child. So, I don't know, Let, let's see what, what it is. All I know is you're in a garage and I guess you're supposed to close it, I'm guessing? Because it looked like your hand was like near a switch, so let's see. <clears throat> Dear Alex, Mom and I went to dinner with the Russells. The fuse in the garage is broken, so the motion sensor might make the garage door get stuck. Make sure it's closed before you go inside. We left you some money for a pizza. See you soon and be safe. Love, Dad. Uh, I have a darling family. My family loves me. All the family love me. All the family love me. How's to work? Ah? 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 Uh, uh, me familia. You really need to get that fixed. What was that? What was that? Um, um, are you writing me a love note? <laughs> swiggity, swiggity, he's coming for my booty. Oh. Hey there. Oh no, that's not the end, is it? No, that's not the end. No, 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 no. Made with Unity. You know, a lot of good horror games are actually made by um Unity. Or no, not made by Unity, but made with the Unity engine. Actually, a quick note, almost all the horror games that I play, or actually in general, most of the games I play, like any game wise, especially horror games, it was made with the Unity engine. So many things are possible with the Unity engine. See? Oh, I already read that. I forgot what I was doing. I lost my train of thought for some reason. Doing a little dance. I don't, okay, I'll stop that. I don't know, is there anything else? I do like how this is actually stylized though, the low poly and everything like that.
Hey, he's got, he's got my booty. So I guess it was just one way. Hmm. Alright, let me open up the game one last time. So that way you guys don't stare at a black screen. Alright. Now, now, first and foremost, I know the guy said it was a short, you know, it was a short game, you know, at least probably like a minute or two long. But, I mean, I didn't have an issue with that. But what I did have the issue with was there wasn't really a lot of scares in it. Um, I mean, I kind of wish that there was, um, there was a part in it, like, once the guy goes under the garage door that he, um, grabs hold of you and, you know, just not really, like, shakes you, but uh, the camera or the game just, like, shakes a little bit as if he was shaking you. Um, that would be pretty fucking terrifying, in my opinion. Um, and also, what I would... I would love to see if um, he or she goes back into the game and um, updates it or even makes a sequel or something sort of like this. <clears throat> I would really, really love to see like um, banging noises, like things that just makes you look over your shoulder, look left and right, you know, everything like that. Like, uh, for example, the creature should have been like outside of the garage door um, on the left side of the like where the switch was on the other side of that wall have the creature like scratching at that side so you'd hear scratching in the left side of the ear because that would be pretty fucking terrifying and then same for the um, right side and the wall behind you so that way you'd, you'd feel um, You'd feel, you know, terrified. You'd feel scared. Like, you'd feel like it's all around you right now. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe also, um, pull, pull like a Freddy Krueger-esque move with him. Um, at some point, I mean, I would love to see him being like Freddy Krueger. Like, all of a sudden, he's going to the car. He's got his hands and his fingers like all around the car and he's like you know wait wait it, you know um that sound of like metal scratching against metal like freddy's claws just going just just that noise as he's like going right towards you that would be pretty fucking terrifying in my opinion i know i know watching a nightmare on elm street as a kid i know seeing that scene in particular with the metal with freddy grinding his um um his glove his uh knife finger knives against the um against metal and it making that horrible screeching noise as a way of like teasing and you know teasing his prey i fucking love that I would love to see someone like that in a future game from this developer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. But anyways, those are just my thoughts and opinion on this game. Um, I would probably rate this... Now I'm being generous. I would say probably like 2.8 to like 3 stars out of 5. Um, if you guys want a quick, short horror game experience, this game is kind of for you. The only downfall about this game isn't how long it is, it's just the amount of scares packed into it in just one, in just like just one minute or two minutes of gameplay. <clears throat> because all it was was just... You know, you saw his hands, you saw his legs, and you heard the scratching outside the door. And then also, um, the lights going, uh, going off, 
then turning back on, and then him sliding back under to get you. But other than that, I think this was a fine game. Um, I would just say keep working on trying to get bring more scares into this, especially so that way it would make up for the short gameplay experience. Um, so if the dev is actually watching this, that voice crack though, if the dev is actually watching this, thank you so much for um, watching this video. Thank you so much for actually making this game. Um, I really did like it. Like I said, it, it was just the, how many scares was in it. It was like it felt limited. But anywho, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know we're gonna live when I go live or post a video. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.